Hey guys, it's me. Um, this will be an interesting video for you all. I kind of felt compelled to make this video just kind of like for my own benefit, but also for other people who might like run across it. If my physical appearance wasn't enough to clue you in on what's going on, I'm kind of like in the th throes of clinical depression right now. Um, today, I'm in like so much pain, and I thought I have like chronic Lyme disease, and I thought that it was that flaring up because like all my joints and my back and stuff hurts. And then I'm, I realized that today that it was just like the physical depression symptoms like showing themselves, it, which always seems to happen. Like I've only felt like this down like very few times in my life. And every time it's gotten that bad, the physical symptoms start way before now, but I never pick up on them. Like um, I've been having like terrible back pain, headaches. Um, I lost like 25 pounds because I just, I couldn't eat anything because I kept getting queasy and I just had like bad stomach aches and I was having like chest pain. It was just, you know, I never kind of like interconnected all the dots there. And like today I woke up and my back is killing me. I have a headache and my joints are like in so much pain. Um, I took aspirin, but you know, it doesn't always work. Uh, and by the way, in case I come out of frame, I'm not naked, obviously. I'm just wearing probably the most disgusting, ripped up, nasty dress that I own because I just don't care. You know? Um, <clears throat> I've been trying to kind of hold it together because, you know, my husband's been really busy working and other people in the house... Well, we won't go there. Let's just say that there's not, like, a lot of support at my house, you know. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I've been kind of, like, trying to hold it together for everybody else's sake, you know. But, I'm not, like, a, like I, I don't want to confuse anybody. I'm not, like, a danger to myself or anybody else, you know. It's just, I have something I have to deal with, you know. And it's really, it's been kind of, it's kind of different this time because, like, the last time that I was, like, down this low and this bad was when I first moved down here. So that was, like, almost three, four years ago, I would say. Um, maybe even five years ago. Six years ago. But I think I lived down here for a year or almost a year before I got married. So, yeah. Like, six years. So, it's been about six years since I've been, like, this bad. And, you know, a lot of things change in six years, so... Like, you know, my friends, that I actually have friends now, I feel bad because I'm not in a position where I'm sociable, you know? I mean, just the thought of having to go to the store... Like, I start crying and freaking out and stuff. So I'm not in a, a condition to be sociable, to be around my friends and my family. Well, I'll get to that later. But I feel bad because, you know, they've never experienced me like this. As a matter of fact, a couple weeks ago, more than a couple weeks ago, I actually had to leave their house early because I had a psychotic episode. And thank God for my husband, you know, he was cool about it. He, like, he realized he had to get me home and get out of there because I didn't, I don't want them to be exposed to that, as, you know, any more than they already were. Because I wouldn't say that I'm ashamed of it. It's just, I, members of my family have went through psychotic episodes when I was around and I just... I just didn't want to have any part of that. It was just so terrifying and scary. Like, I don't want to put anybody else through that. So, thankfully, he was cool about it. He, you know, got me out of there and got me home and I calmed down. And 
you know, we got through it together, but it was pretty intense, and I haven't had a psychotic episode uh, in quite a while, so. Um, for those watching who have similar problems, I am not medicated. Uh, I haven't been medicated since I was a teenager, and I've been doing fairly well considering um, I can tell that I need the medication, just it's hard for me to keep up with like everyday activities, like you know I lost my job and everything, but you know, it's not like I'm a deranged psychopath without my medicine, you know, but I definitely need some, I don't have the insurance, I can't find any resources to obtain that medicine because the way that in our state, in my country, the way that it works, my husband makes too much money for like state help and with our bills that we have to pay, it's not like we can let things slide. You know, the bills that we have to pay can't afford like a monthly prescription or even going to a psychiatrist at all, so, you know. <clears throat> But I think I'm doing pretty well. It just, ouch. My arms are really hurting. So, like, I spilled, I spilled my coffee, my boiling hot coffee all over myself this morning. Because, uh, I just lost sensation and feeling in my, in my arm. And it just, because it hurts so much. So anyway. Um, this video is getting kind of long. I don't want to sit here and like babble on for like the next 20 years, but I guess I'll do a couple more videos about this subject. You know, I, like I said, I think it'll be good for me to see my, how I am like this, you know. Uh, it might help other people. Just, you're not alone, you know, kind of thing. <clears throat> now, you guys know me. I mean, I came on camera and I look like this. You know, that's not, that's not something that I do, you know. But, you know, you get down like this and it just doesn't care. It's it's really strange if you've never had, like, deep depression. <clears throat> the best way that I explain to people is it's like having, like, an inner struggle. Because inside you know that you have no reason really to be depressed. You know, you should pull yourself out of this. You want to be happy. But there's just, like, a wall. You know, there's, like, this other side. That will not, absolutely not let you do that. You know, it's like you're constantly fighting two ends against the middle, and it's hard for people to understand that because for outwardly it's like, well, what do you have to be depressed about? You know, it's just, you know, people get sad all the time. You know, to go do something fun, but people don't understand that just that's not how it works. <clears throat> to force yourself, I mean, to do something when you're depressed and you don't want to do anything. To force yourself to do something, it can just take everything out of you, honestly. And then, you know, you're, you're sitting there. Even going to the grocery store, like, the other day, it was like, I I got in there, I was there for ten minutes, I'm like, I need to go home. I need to go home right now, you know. Emotionally, physically, the pain, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. But I got through it, and, you know, it wasn't, wasn't a big deal in, in hindsight. But, you know, during the event, and leading up to the event, you're like, oh my god, you know. <clears throat> so I guess maybe I'll just keep you guys updated and, like, do more of these, like, depression vlogs? I don't know. Kind of chronicle myself getting out of this funk. It's actually been happening for maybe, I would say, the last month and a half. The symptoms started coming in, like, like the actual depressive portion just started uh, maybe oh, three or four days ago, you know, there was like, I don't know how the other people's depression works, but me, I won't notice the physical symptoms, like my, I'm starting to come down, because I'm bipolar, you know, like, the, I'm bipolar and have clinical depression, so it's like, my lows are like, you know, I didn't realize I was starting to spiral down, and then we got a bit of bad news the other day. Nothing like serious, serious. My husband didn't get a, a position at his work and it would have like really changed our whole life, you know. So like, you know, I got that bit of bad news and like that was the straw that broke the camel's back, which is usually happens when I get depressed. It's like there's, I'll be kind of like plateauing with it and then something will happen. It couldn't even be a big deal, kind of like this was. 
Um, and it was just, I'm done. So, yeah. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. I don't want to look naked. Hold on. And, uh, you know, I'll keep you guys up to date and let you know how this journey goes. So, thanks for sticking with me. You guys are awesome. And real quick before I leave, um, to end this video on a high note, today is my father's 49th birthday, so happy birthday, Daddy. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.